What is up, everybody? Today is a question about SDK. I was having a conversation this morning, actually, about what is SDK and do I need it for drone deploy? That was the second part of the question. Uh, and so let's, this is an important topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a long time. I've been thinking about doing like a, a proper video where it has like the overlays and stuff, but I want to just get the information out there, especially because there was a, a gentleman on Reddit that asked, I think he was looking, he asked if it was, uh, if he was going to get, if we recommended a Mavic 3 versus the Air 2S, um, because I think he had the Air 2S. I'd have to double check the post, but anyway. Um, I recommend all the time uh, to, whenever you buy something, make sure you have room to grow into it. So the SDK allows you the capability to do things like using third-party apps. So SDK is Software Development Kit, if you don't know. Uh, it's something that typically, at least in DJI's case, they'll, they won't release until about a year out. So they'll sell the drone and it'll, they'll be doing their own firmware updates and making sure that stuff is tweaked and, and working properly. And then at some point, usually, but not always, um, they'll release an SDK for it. So then you can use it with things like Litchi or Drone Deploy, um, Maps Made Easy, uh, all sorts of different pro programs. Um, once you have that SDK, then like the world opens up to you because then you can take on other jobs where let's take drone deploy because that's such a, a popular program. Uh, what they'll do is they'll a lot of times you'll get a client that will um, will give you a drone deploy mission and basically you just you accept it and then you just have to hit the go like you just hit the play button and you just start um, and then your drone goes does its thing and then it comes back down and you upload the stuff, right? So if you don't have the SDK, if your drone doesn't have the capability for it, then you won't be able to take those missions uh, just because third-party programs can't run them. Um, so in his question, he asked about the Mavic 3 uh, versus, like I said, I think it was the Air 2S. Uh, and the Air 2S is a very capable drone. I don't fly it. I haven't flown it, but there's a community that just absolutely loves it. And based on paper, I can recommend it. Uh, and because of other people's feedback, I can recommend that. The only thing that I can see, technically speaking, based off of the specs that the Mavic 3 has, that the, S the Air 2S doesn't, Uh, or that it wins on is that the Mavic 3 can fly for 40 ish minutes, uh, whereas the Air 2S is about half an hour. So that extra time does add up and it is very helpful. It's one of the reasons why I love the Mavic 3, because that flight time is just incredible. It's, it's awesome. Uh, but as you know, those are optimal conditions. So that 40 minutes is probably going to be closer to 30. If you have high winds, it's even less than that. Uh, but same scenario for the Air 2S, its maximum is I think like 29 or 31 or some somewhere around 30. Same thing, that's gonna go down. So it goes down closer to 20 minutes. Um, if it's really high winds, it's gonna be even less than that. But one of the other things too to note about a bigger drone like the Mavic 3 is that the propellers are, are bigger. So it has a better tendency to be able to last longer than an Air 2S. So if, let's say, you lost 20% of battery from non-optimal conditions on the Mavic 3, you might lose more than that on the Air 2S, potentially, because the Air 2S is a smaller aircraft, but it doesn't have as much capability for lift and so on and so forth. There's so many things. Anyway, the question was about the SDK. Um, and so I always recommend whenever you buy anything, a camera, a, my motorcycle, when I bought my motorcycle, the best advice someone gave me was buy more than you think you need. And I was actually scared with the size of motorcycle that I got. I'm not scared, just a little nervous because it was an 865, which is a, it's a big boy um, for someone who's never ridden a motorcycle before. Um, but I, was, I very quickly grew into that. And uh, I'm digressing. But the idea is that I'm really glad that I didn't get the 650 
which is the size of the engine. It's the amount of it's the size, basically the size of the uh, the motorcycle. What it ends up being, we don't have to talk about that. But um, I'm glad I didn't go with the 650 that I was looking for because I loved having that 865. And so the same thing goes for drones or cameras. Whatever you're you're looking to buy, give yourself room to grow. Um, with the Mavic 3, like I said, it's a tremendous aircraft on its own. It does not have the SDK. It doesn't look like they're going to release it. At some point they may, but they... We had expected the SDK um, a while ago. It didn't come out. Um, I don't want to get into it. I'm a broken record about this, so I, I don't want to be throwing shade or anything. If you have a question about it, then throw it in the comments and maybe I'll answer there. But <laughs> I'm trying to stay very positive about this video. So um, I would recommend the Air 2S if you're looking for room to grow. Um, I also, I think I answered this in another video recently. Um, don't, I wouldn't recommend getting the Air 3. It might be a completely amazing drone, but a lot of times they have these, these key features that aren't unlocked for like a year. So you, it, basically when you buy a, anything nowadays, um, it's not fully unlocked and you'll end up, you know, like early adopters get really hosed nowadays. <laughs> um, so if, you, if, you, if you're into gaming at all, you know what I mean. Um, so I think that's it. I really don't think there's anything else. Um, SDK, really important for growth, um, ability to map, which is, Great. If you want to start making money, mapping can be very lucrative. Um, and it's also just a hell of a lot of fun if you want to do that or 3D models, uh, like photogrammetry, uh, which you can get into for free with doing WebODM, uh, which is a very powerful tool. That's another question that's often asked. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's it. Super quick, super easy. Um, and that's it. I'll Talk to you guys next time, and as you know, until next time, fly safe and be good to each other. <laughs>